Hello, do you like candles? I do. Let me tell you why. This is Tom Lara and I'm just sharing. I think my interest in candles began when I was a young child growing up in the Philippines. I remember how my grandfather would take me every year with him to the cemetery on All Saints Day. On All Saints Day, which always falls on November 1, my grandfather would wake me up early in the morning and we would travel early to the cemetery to avoid the rush of people also going to the cemetery. You see, All Saints Day, or Todos Los Santos, as it's called in the Philippines, is a significant feast day in the church calendar in the Philippines. The tradition was for everyone to go to the cemetery to visit the graves of their loved ones. And we would stay there the whole day. Back then, buried in the cemetery was my grandmother from my mother's side and my grandfather's two siblings and my grandfather's first wife. So we would stay in the cemetery the whole day from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. Yes, the whole day. And we would light candles in front of those graves. So, and I think that's where my interest in candles all began. Because the whole day I remember I would collect the wax that would fall off the candles as they melted. Making it into a big ball of wax. My brothers who would later in the day also go to the cemetery with my parents would also do the same. But because I had been there earlier than them, I would always end up with the biggest ball of wax. So my ball of wax was like a prize trophy for me for that day. So why am I sharing this with you? Because you and I are like candles. I'm a candle, you're a candle. A candle that's slowly melting each day. And one day, like a candle, we too will expire. But the big question is this. What are you doing with your candle? What are you doing with your candle? And it reminds me of what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 to 15, where he says, You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp, then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. Are you the light of the world shining brightly for all to see? Are you the candle bringing light into this world of darkness? Or have you hidden the light? How would you know if you're living as the light of the world? In the following verse, in verse 16, Jesus continues and tells us how. He says this, In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Hey, what good deeds have you done today? Because the light that people see is the good deeds that you do today. Think about it. And let your light shine wherever God has placed you. That's his strategy. Whenever it gets dark around you, you can either curse the darkness or light your candle. So let your light shine. Let your light shine. Wherever he places you, shine as a light everywhere you go. And people will be attracted to your light. Jesus says a city set on a hilltop cannot be hidden. It attracts people. If we allow God to work in our life, to shine where he places us, we will shine. Not because we're good but because Christ will shine through us. We may have the same problems, the same difficulties, but the joy of the Lord, the strength of the Lord, will shine through us. 
and the candle shines best when it's darkest. So let your light shine. Shine the love of God for all to see. Amen. I hope that this helps you and I hope this has spoken to your heart. And more importantly, I hope it challenges you to look into your life and see if you are living as the light of this world. In whatever your world is right now, may your light shine so brightly that people will see the good deeds and may praise your Heavenly Father. Let me pray for you now. Heavenly Father, I pray for every person who's watching right now and I pray, dear Lord, that you would reveal to them areas of their life where your light is not shining, Lord. And I pray, Lord God, that you would give them the courage and the strength to shine as a light to this world. And I pray, Lord, that you would use them to bring light to others. I also pray for all of their needs, Lord. May you meet all of their needs. Provide for them, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching once again, and I hope that this helps you, and I hope that it speaks to your heart. But more importantly, I hope that it steers you into action. Again, I invite you to follow me on Facebook and to subscribe to me on YouTube. Remember, just sharing 407. Thank you and God bless you and have a wonderful day.